Shalom. Hola. Hola. So we finished watching Dahmer. Messed up. This. Messed up by more. Episodes 5 through 10. There's only 10. And this one got to Jen. Why were you crying? Basically the whole 5 through 10. Because I'm a mother and I felt the father's pain of, you know, having to see your child go through what Dahmer was going through. And, you know, at one point it just looked like Dahmer felt alone. And even though, yes, he's a bad person, he just looked sad and alone. And, yeah, just it was hard. The court case, the, uh, the emotions of the parents that had their children murdered by Dahmer feeling their pain and then feeling Dahmer's father's pain. It's just like, what would you do as a parent in that situation if your child was a mass murderer? You know, I mean, I as a parent would feel bad for those parents that my child did that. Then I would feel bad for my child is why they are the way that they are, you know? And then the poor dad was blaming himself for Dahmer's actions and the way he grew up was his fault. and. It's just amazing as a parent, you you try to blame everything else but your child, you know, because you're just in so much denial that, especially in a situation like that, that your child could possibly have done that. So it just hit home a little bit, and I just felt sad all around for just, like, everyone. Well, I thought the main reason, though, it got to you is because of that Anthony, the deaf, the deaf guy. Anthony. The one that was deaf. That was the first, that was number five. Yes? Yes, we yeah. We gotta talk about that. That's what kicked it off, of you crying. Yeah, I just felt so horrible. That was such a sad part of the series to me because he was, you know, raised in, in a good family upbringing and he was deaf because of a uh, pneumonia. He, he went, when he was born, he had pneumonia and this one of the side effects from the drugs that they had given him um, can cause childhood deafness and he ended up being deaf and he had so much going for him and he was such a sweet soul, sweet person and actually Dahmer and him became really close friends and it's just sad the way that it ended and he was just a sweet person it was just really, really sad. It was almost like a normalcy at that point because you can actually see like a yeah. a more human side of Dahmer getting involved with that yeah. relationship. He actually felt a connection yeah. and when he was trying to leave. Yeah. It's that separation anxiety. Got, he doesn't like being left because his parents left him when he was a kid too. Yeah, he's got like abandonment issues. But still, it's like, where was your conscience, dude? This guy was a sweet soul. He was just so sweet. And that that, out of all the ones that he murdered that one hit me the hardest and if you haven't seen it and when you do see it you'll understand even more than the 14 year olds that got killed um yeah it it, it did not for some reason not as much as tony. i didn't really show them though yeah i really didn't show much of them but it, with tony it got into depth like how he started out as a baby and then it just, for some reason, it focused more on all the ones he killed on him. Hughes, right? Anthony, Tony Hughes. And um, that's because it, you know, got my attention from, you know, when the poor kid was born up until he was murdered at 31. It's just, it's just it was just a sad story. Really sad. You imagine being that neighbor though the whole time, calling the cops, saying there's something going on. Yeah, that neighbor, I forgot what her name is in this. Do you remember? Did they even say her name? Is it Glenda? I don't know, but she's a rock star, Glenda? man. Glenda, Glenda, yeah. She's awesome. She really does help make the series what it is, too. She, you know, she's, she's a good actor in this, too. She's a girl from Reno 911. I didn't know that until you said something. <laughs> I, I didn't recognize it right away. So yeah, the last five uh, series left is sad. Yep. And, uh, you almost want to feel bad for him, but you know you can't. You know, 
Yeah. When he goes to prison, he's just alone, which, you know. And he gets to prison, and he's getting all this fan mail and everything, and people that actually, like, worship him, and then it gives him, like, another complex. Like, he almost feels like, okay, maybe it is <coughs> okay to feel the way I do. Maybe it is okay to feel good about it, and then. Yeah. And then he know. found Jesus, and, you know, did little, all that. Little fun fact. The day Dahmer was baptized in prison was the day John Wayne Gacy was being put to death. I like to say euthanized. Which is also, all this happened the same day that there was a Lunar. solar equip, yeah. eclipse. 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 Solar. Yeah, because it was during the day, not at night. So yeah, it was That's solar. That's crazy. Yep. That's bizarre. I don't know what the connection would be with all that, but I believe it means something in some sort of type of way. But They both died the same year, too, 1994. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dahmer wanted to be forgiven mm -hmm. by God, and John Wayne Gacy believed he already was forgiven. When he was laying, getting euthanized? John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, because, well... Not hard to get euthanized. People don't know who knows. Yeah. Um, but he, the cops and the whoever was in there putting him to sleep asked him if he had any last words. And he looks over at everyone watching him get put to sleep. Y'all can kiss my ass. <laughs> he was the devil. What else would you say? Nothing you say is going to change the outcome. So No, but he could have said, I apologize for everything I've done. But he denied everything he did anyway. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So. It's so crazy. He denied, but he also didn't. Like, he told him every where all the bodies were. Yeah. Yeah. And then Dahmer, he just sat there and accepted getting murdered. He just let it happen like he wanted it to happen. You know, he just let this guy do what he did to him, and that was it. He says more for like, compulsive. Mm-hmm. The first killing was an accident. All right. You're what right. he said, and then. Yep. I just. Well, why'd he keep doing it? Because he didn't get caught. I don't know. That's why John Wayne did it. Yeah. You know, it was just getting easier and easier, and he didn't get caught, so he kept doing it, but. Yeah. Do you blame Dahmer's dad at all? Do you think he should have showed him how to cut up dead animals and. Do all that stuff? Do you think he's to blame at all or no? I don't know. And he said he had the same thoughts too when he was younger about killing people and everything. And you seem to think that that can be passed down. I don't know. Yeah. Thoughts are thoughts. I mean, everyone thinks differently. I don't know if a thought can get I mean, passed any, down. anything can spark one's interest in life or something. But you still have a conscience. And he should have had a conscience to know that what he did was, or what he was doing was wrong. And he had no conscience about it. He just had the need to keep doing it. So, no, I don't think his dad contributed to that. They definitely didn't help, though. His mom being a druggie and then... Okay, I'm sorry. In that whole series, to me, as a mother, she's a piece of shit. She's just a piece of shit mom. And I, if anyone's is to blame, would be her. I blame her for the way that he is. Mm. Not his father. His father was there... Mm. Well, besides, but see, he thought, now this is where it's wrong. He, they both took off on, on Dahmer. The dad honestly thought the mom was there the whole time, and, and she wasn't. But even with that being said, as a parent, you don't ghost your child. And he ghosted his own child that he was with his crazy mother, as the dad said. You know, his dad said, your mom did this, your mom did that. Okay, then if... If that's the case, why would you not check up to make sure your child's okay? Why would you ghost your child? And why would you leave your child in care of your ex-wife-to-be who's a mental case? Like, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. But So in that part, he was wrong, but in everything else, he was a good dad. I just wouldn't have done what he did as far as just leaving Dahmer. So that's the only bad thing I think he did wrong as a parent, but... That's just my belief. That's how I feel. I wouldn't ghost my child, ever. 
what part of that series stuck out most to you, like the most disturbing or didn't sit well with you? When he ate them. That's just, I mean, other than killing them, that's horrible. But And then he tried getting the neighbor to eat some. That's what I was going to say. He made her a sandwich. I was yeah. like, do you think that's a body? Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, eat it. He was just like, eat the sandwich. And she was like, I'll eat it later. I'll eat it later. She she knew. She knew something was up with Well, that. I can't understand, like, why did she keep it on the table that whole day? Yeah, I know. Why didn't you have thrown it away? I would have, like, took it into evidence or whatever, had them try to see what mm -hmm. it was made out of. Something, yeah. Even when she's hearing all these voices and screaming and loud noises going on in the middle of the night, I would at least went over there and pounded on the door to break that shit up. Something. Or I was telling Adam, if I, because she, in some of the shoots, she would see out the window him walking up with a new, you know, victim. Me being who I am, I'd be, in, you know, having a suspicion. I'd be fucking waiting out that door and be like, um, don't go in his apartment. He's going to kill you. Don't, <laughs> don't run, run. <laughs> but, and he never, you know, killed her. He just, I, he didn't have a thing for females. That's but why. the thing is, is like, why didn't he, or why did he want her to eat it so bad? Well, he said to see if she'll like it. I don't know. It's just weird. Something maybe he's going to get off on, I guess. I Ew. Know. Gross. I don't know. Then he eventually makes it to prison, gets baptized and everything. And, yeah. You know, he's trying to turn his life around, I guess, for what you can do while you're in prison. But yeah. ends up getting beaten to death with a, a metal pipe. Yep. And then having... To see the dad go over and look at his body. and One thing I did learn from this, a lot of dirty cop work. Oh, yeah. A lot of dirty cop work. All around in, in many scenes. And I'm just like, oh, boy. They obviously have their opinions of people, you know. Mm, yes. When they get jailed and sentenced and know what they've done, they, yeah. Like them. Cops were definitely racist back then. Yes. I mean, they were making those calls of these family victims' families and saying, "Don't take the money. Get on. Get the out boat. of this country, you piece of shit, and go back where you yeah. came from." And get nope. back on the boat you came from. They were making prank calls, and then you find out towards the end that's actually the cops doing that. Yeah. It's horrible. But yeah, it's really. I'm. I'm glad we watched it. I wasn't at first because I was, you know, <laughs> just felt wrong. But you know, after a while, I was. I was okay with it. Next, I think we're gonna check out Gacy's. Yes, Gacy. I grew up in Des Plaines, Illinois, Which and is where... that's where Gacy is from. And he oh, actually there, started yeah. his murders and was caught. The month I was born. So. Actually, he was arrested December 28th, 1978, a few days before you were born. Yes. And they but found he was convicted what? after yeah, yeah, when I was born. But over 34 bod bodies or something like that mm -hmm. he's killed. I mean, yeah. There was like 27, 28 just in his house. Yeah. So it's kind of where we have Dahmer, who was an hour and a half away from us, you know, committing his crimes. And then... Gacy, who was in the town that I grew up and was raised in, you know, so this is just, it's just crazy. I guess I'm happy my family wasn't affected. Oh, you got some issues. Yeah, they're called Adam. Mm hmm <laughs> But all in all, it was a good series. Yes. I'll probably watch it again eventually. I'll give it, I don't know. Nine out of ten. What would you give it? I'd give it a ten. Ten? Yep. Yeah. I would give it a ten, but you kind of feel guilty for liking it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's just I mean, crazy to go inside the story of his life. I don't mean how this is probably going to sound, but I would 
like to have met Dahmer just to like yeah see what makes him tick to get to know him the mental part of him yeah yeah, yeah. yes Daisy you're making your debut on daddy's she's channel she's already been on it a couple times you, every every video she's got to make her debut hi day say hi <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's actually a, an interview on youtube Lionel Dahmer the dad of Jeffrey from two years ago. Yeah. Uh, he even broke down crying in that interview. Yeah. See, as a parent, it's just, man, I couldn't even fathom going well, He's 86 that. years old and still having to live it. Now with this Netflix series, I'm sure you're going to have to relive it again. And people are probably going to start reaching out and just digging up some shit he's been trying to suppress this whole time. I think, too, out of this whole story is the brother of Jeffrey Dahmer completely... You know, oh yeah, he's he, off the grid. He is off the grid, not even searchable. Like he changes, he legally changes yeah, his name too. Didn't he, want the Dahmer name. No, he wants nothing part of his brother's whatever. All we know is killings. he's about fifty-five right now. Yeah, that's all we know. Yep. And his name was David Dahmer, but now it's different. Yeah. And last known was Ohio. I don't know if he's still there or not, but that's just messed up. And then Dahmer's mom, she passed away in 2000, you said, of breast cancer. So she's dead. So. And his grandma died from dementia. Yep. Yeah, it was sad in one of the parts. Um, when her house was being raided because they found out that there were um, bodies, bodies, you know, in, in her house too that were killed. Um, she was screaming upstairs for Jeff and Jeff long gone and you know she was demented and so Dahmer's dad um not demented she had dementia I'm sorry um so uh Jeffrey's dad was so upset because his mom was upset all these people were in the house and you know he's trying to you know calm his mom down and it's just sad that poor guy he went through hell and back and then the wife his ex-wife at the end about Dahmer's brain pissed me off because this is a spoiler sorry because I gotta talk about this if you're if your child has a will that they want to be you know cremated and you know the remains divvied up that's it right these MFers kept his brain and the father didn't even know. And so the dad was like, what do you mean? He, he was supposed to be burnt up. What do you mean? You still have his brain? That was supposed to be, you know, burned with his body, cremated with his body. They didn't even tell him. They didn't even tell the parents. That's a lawsuit. Now, you can't get away with that today. Uh-uh. They should have got sued for that, actually. And then his mom wanted them to keep his brain for science and his dad was like we need to put this behind us that brain needs to go and Dahmer's wishes was to be cremated everything yep i agree with what lionel said it's like john wayne gacy his brain was donated for science they could find out there and then they found out nothing so mm -hmm. it's going to be the same thing they found with his son yeah it's your soul it's not something. your brain it's your soul i definitely don't think Actions like that is passed down by genes or genetics or anything. But who just mental say, illness well, is passed down. Yes. So but, why wouldn't that be? That's a mental illness. His dad didn't go out murdering anybody. His mom didn't go out murdering anybody. There is no other record but of anybody in thoughts, of thoughts but he didn't act on it. Exactly. But it's everybody conscious. has those thoughts. I'm sure you do. You get cut off in traffic. I mean, I beat get out and beat the shit out of this fucking dude. Maybe, but not to kill him. I've never envisioned killing someone. You said you have. Uh, the only thing I have said, and I will say till I go into the grave or burned wherever I go, if anyone ever touched my kid or harmed my kid in any other type of way possible that's wrong, go yeah, I, I would hunt that person and, yep, Sit. I'd kill him. Go on. I, that's the only line that crop would cross with me. And you all hear about me in the national news, public news, whatever. Yeah, but. Public news? Is that. Public oh, it was the private news? Whatever. There is no private news. But anyways, long story short, yeah. So that's the only way I would kill someone is if they touched my offspring. But, I, you know, I get mad, yes, but I don't envision killing them. You know? But. 
Oh, that was a good show. Check it out. Netflix. Yeah. Called Dahmer. Gacy's next. Oh. That dude's a nut job, too, and a half, but he's different than Dahmer, though. He's. I don't know. If you had to compare Dahmer to Gacy, who's the worst serial killer? Dahmer. Why? Just because he ate, some, ate him sometimes, or. Essentially, they're both the same thing. It's Gacy this. was just a pervert to young kids, and he is an old man, and he was just mental. He didn't have no abandonment issues. His, you know, his parents were there with him, and they raised him, and he had a good upbringing. He just, I don't know, so, uh, I don't know. something different. All right, thank you for watching. We'll be on here again for Gacy or whatever shit pops up that pisses us off or something. Oh, before, we need to let them know. Daisy, shut up! About how Illinois has appealed the Safety Act. Our what county. About? Oh, yeah. Yeah, our county appealed it. So, fingers crossed. I'm We're still going to move, it. though. We're still moving. Might not be in a rush, but we're still going to move. Really?